And look at this thing, man. She is beautiful. And then right here, we have a yellow belly. You can see it's a lot more granite-like as well, too. Right here, I'll tell you right off the bat, this is a What's up, YouTube? How is everyone doing today? Hope everyone's doing really good. Hope all of you guys had a happy, happy Thanksgiving, a great happy Thanksgiving. But man, as you can see, there's a little change already. The incubator's gone. Just because we're getting to the end of our clutch. We have about three females left that are gonna lay. Um, and we have 30, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have 22 clutches in there. So we have 22 left. We've been hatching out some crazy stuff. And as you guys saw in the title, we're gonna get to look a little closer into the Zuwadi gene, or AKA the z -morph or the z -morph, aka Zuwadi gene. And real quick, all you uh, reptile Karens that I like to call you guys, grown men that complain about a name. Dude, if, if I was, let me see, how could I say this nicely? If I wanted to ask for your opinion, I would have messaged you directly and be like, hey man, what do you think of this? But I didn't, so why you put something negative on my channel? I mean, it's just showing that you're a grown man and you're bothered by a name. That's weird. So anyways, we have a z -morph clutch that we're gonna cut. Guys, we're gonna show you guys some cool stuff that we've been hatching from this awesome, awesome gene, man. I can't explain how excited I am about it because now I have some yellow belly stuff and some yellow belly Z-morph stuff, yellow belly fire Z-morph stuff. I mean, we're hatching so much crazy stuff. And then the bamboo and the Z-morph bamboo already shed, so you can really see the difference on the color, the pattern, and you know, bamboo being a very, very overpowering gene, you can really see the difference on these things, man. And I'm super, super excited. And I hatched another Z-morph combo that's just insane. And it already shed, so let's get started. And guys, check this out, man. I know you guys, if you guys wanna learn some Spanish, I just did a vlog on my Spanish channel. We just had the smallest snake we've ever had over here at AEP, and it's right in there. And as you can see, this is one of the tips that actually Justin had showed me. You know, when you have some of the snakes that don't come out, you know, absorbing the whole yolk or anything like that, you put them in a little container like that so they don't get to move around so much, they get to hydrate themselves, you know, and we've had a great odds, you know, with surviving some of our hatchlings that don't absorb their yolk, by doing this method. We put them in the incubator for about a week and then we take them out, then we offer them some food after they're shed. And I'm telling you guys, if you guys don't already know this, this has been helping us a, a lot, a lot. But yeah, let us um, let me show you a quick little clip of this little um, ball python that we hatched. How crazy is that, right? All right, so let's pull out this clutch real quick. And right here we have a pastel fire inchi bred to a Z-morph, or to your reptile Karen, Zuwadi. I mean, you guys can call it whatever you want. Honestly, it's not gonna upset me like it upsets you guys. But yeah, so let's get to it. All right, man, so before we get to cutting this clutch, I'm gonna show you guys some of these Z-morph combos that we've done that, you know, I've already shut it out and everything, man. It's super, super cool. Why do you have a big smile over there, Turtle? Because I'm just laughing at the fact that you call them reptile Karens. I can't Whoa. get that out of my head. I could just picture a big burly man, but... Well, Karen. think about it. A grown man, <laughs> a, a grown man commenting, be like, oh, you know, I don't like the name of this net. You know, it's just weird. It's just, why complain about it? I mean, you're a grown man, dude. Don't you have things to do, like grown man stuff? Drink a beer, you know, go look at your reptiles or something. All right, guys, so let's start off with the bamboo comparisons. Man, I'm telling you, bamboo is such a dominating gene. I just had some bamboo clowns, and dude, I still can't even figure out what they are. I can only guess, you know? But yeah, so right here we have a normal bamboo. You can see, you know, very silverish looking right there. Beautiful, man. You gotta love the bamboo stuff, man. And then right now, I mean, take, keep taking a good look at it. Then right here, we have the Z-morph bamboo. And you can see that the dorsal stripe has like a lot more of a highlighter color on the, you know, on the stripes. And then the head alone, the whole snake alone is a little lighter than this one itself. And of course, the dorsal stripe, man, is very, very strong on this one. But you could clearly see the difference on all these. And I've hatched a quite a, quite a good amount of uh, bamboos and stuff and never have I hatched something that looks this pretty. So it's pretty cool to see, you know, what the Z-morph is actually doing with it. And again, man, I'm very, very excited about this, you know, this gene itself. And let me show you another one that we hatched that is 100% a holdback. It just sucks because I cannot hatch any males. Everything I've been hatching is females. Man, dude, so this one, amazing, amazing. So this came from, from a Z-morph fire Mojave bred to an ivory. And I believe right here we have a Mojave Z-Morph yellow belly. And look at this thing, man. She is beautiful. She's already had a few meals. 
You guys saw when we cut the clutch, this was one of them that was in there. But oh my goodness, man, this thing is freaking beautiful. I'm really excited to see how this thing is gonna, you know, do with clowns. And pies, you guys already saw that. Well, they're only head pies, but it works really, really good with yellow belly, which is gonna be pretty cool because the clutch we're gonna cut is gonna be, you know, very insane to see. But hold on, stay right there. Look at that, man. She is so freaking beautiful. All right, so let's show off some of the other Z-Morph combos that we've hatched that we bred to a pastel ivory so we can really see a good look of, you know, how they are working with different morphs. All right, so the cool thing about when you breed stuff to ivories or any kind of super formers, you guys know that whatever you breed it to, it's gonna be 100%, it either being ivory or a, or a super fire, which is gonna be making a fire, or it's gonna be yellow belly, or super pastel, or it's gonna be pastel, but I know a lot of people don't like pastel and stuff, so that's the cool thing about having some super forms. But let me start off with a regular yellow belly. This right here is just, you know, a normal yellow belly. Beautiful example of a yellow belly. These little things came out really, really big, man. So I'm gonna leave that right there. And then right here, we have a yellow belly Z-Morph, possible fire. With, I like to say, but then we have this one right here that I believe has the fire and as you can see it's a lot lighter um, but Again, this could be a possible fire What I do know is there these three are 100% yellow bellies and these two right here are 100% z-morphs You can see the dorsal stripes really really strong on them a lot stronger than just your normal yellow belly And again, we have a normal yellow belly right here again, and then this right here I would believe to just be a z-morph yellow belly you can see it's a lot more granite like as well, too a little brighter, the dorsal stripe also playing really strong on it. But again, very different from just a regular yellow belly, you know, comparing them next to each other. Yeah, pretty cool stuff, man. I'm telling you guys, having a super form to breed stuff to is always really good if you're trying to find out how a new gene works. So, all right guys, enough talking, enough showing some of the stuff. Let's get to cutting. I love the way this uh, hand sanitizer smells. Have you guys, you know, since the whole COVID thing has happened, have you guys uh, ever have been to a store or they have like that generic, you know, sanitizer and you smell it, like smells like straight freaking like cheap vodka. I mean, oh my gosh, it stinks, dude. All right, so again, what I was, what I was saying right here, we have a female pastel fire inchi and the sire was the Zuwadi. I'm gonna just call it Zuwadi for you guys so your feelings don't get all upset. Don't hurt their feelings. The reptile cairns. All right, so let me put this over here. I almost ate it right now. And, oh my, oh, Whoa. that is different. Ooh, that is pretty cool. And you know what's crazy? This female, this is her third year she's laid on this. She's one of my smallest females. She's about 1,500 grams. When she's uh, getting ready to lay, she's around like 17, 1,800 grams. And she always gives us our, one of our biggest clutches. She's done back-to-back -back 11 eggs. And on this one, she actually did 12, but three of them were slugs. And she's not even really a big girl. So let's do some lines right here. One, two, three, four. Five. All right, so you guys know I like to cut the ones that are already pipped out. Oh man, how am I gonna do you here, little dog? Oh, there you go. Perfect. Let me see real quick. Wow. That is insane. Okay, this right here, I'll tell you right now, this female has laid a lot of clutches for me, and I've already seen how pastel fire works, pastel fire inchy works. I mean, I'm telling you, I've had a lot of stuff from her. Right here, I'll tell you right off the bat, this is a pastel fire inchy Z-morph combo. And I hope this is a freaking male. Look at that. That is freaking insane. And you guys know, I have to take some pictures. Holy hell, first egg, and that's what came out right there. That is insane. I mean, this could possibly have Mojave as well. You know, we and we could also be having some all white snakes right here because that male that I have proved out to have fire as well. So this is gonna be really, really interesting. So this could actually be pastel fire inchy Mojave Z morph. That is crazy. I'm excited to see this one come out the egg. Um, man, I hope this is a male right here. Wow. And again, big shout out to Matt Byram again, man. Matt Byram's the one that got me into this uh, this new uh, gene right here, and it's because of him I'm hatching all this cool, cool stuff. He's the one that I've been going back and forth with, showing up some pictures and things. Big shout out to Matt Byram. Make sure you guys go check out his Instagram, guys. Matt Byram Exotics. Information can be in the description down below. All right, so let's cut this next one. Dude. This is freaking nuts. Look at this. Ooh, that's pretty. You know, this crazy. This gene, man, works. It's... Very similar to like the cypress gene. But the only difference is I, I do see it's a little cleaner and the dorsal stripe is a little stronger and a little thicker than it. But man, that's two already. Wow, this is this is getting really, really, really good. Or like my kids will say when they were little, this is getting gooder. Okay, a little half one right there. Oh, six, what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> this right here, I believe, is just a say an inch pastel inchy. All right, so I'll put you over here. So this is what I'll do. I'll put all the Z-morph stuff right here. Here's another one that's been getting cut up. Oh, this is so freaking exciting, man. And this is just like the mom. Right here, we have a pastel inchy fire. I've hatched a few of these already. Man, I'm already happy. I'm already happy with this uh, clutch. What about you, Tortoise? Super happy. I'm surprised at what those babies look like. Yeah, that was freaking you insane. You never know. And this this right here is a pastel inchy. The other one wasn't. Fire? Ah, maybe. Maybe, no, because it would be a firefly. Let me see its head. Don't want to poke it. Oh, I'm setting more people. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at the pattern on this. Very, like, puzzle-like. I'm going to put this one in the middle. Just because this could just be a pastel. I don't know. Put that right there. Dude, look at these right here. How freaking insane is that, dude? That is so crazy. Gosh, man, this gene is so freaking cool. Ooh, okay. Wow. So this right here is a, I want to say it's a fire inchy Z-morph. And it's going to be really, really cool because I've actually hatched out from that female two fire inchy cypress. Uh, snakes and actually one of them's a holdback and I'm gonna do a good comparison next to each other So you guys can really see how the cypress and the Z morph, you know work differently, but yeah, that's That's really really cool. I'm really really excited to see it just to see the difference on it Ooh, this one you could already feel right at the top big dog. You need to move down a little bit before I you know snip that spine Okay, and this right here is a Mojave it could possibly be a you morph we'll see i'll put this one over here all right so so far we have four and four turtle what do you think you've been guessing these wrong lately big dog i have so i'm just not gonna say anything okay i'm gonna say it's a z combo we're well, not gonna be able to tell until it really comes out right no uh, you're gonna tell me these in z combos well yeah huh interesting man i can't tell right yeah <laughs> you're right on that one i mean it's Possibly. not obvious, but it could be. It could be. I mean, it's 50-50. Dude, we should call it the Karen gene. That'll be so freaking <laughs> sick. I'll stop talking crap, guys. I'm so sorry, dude. I just, honestly, it does bother me a little when grown men complain. It's like, Jesus, man, like, what a lack of weirdness. Not lack of, but too much weirdness. But all right, guys, so, man, and again, big shout out to everybody that's in this uh, gene right here. I'm very excited for it myself. Hopefully next year we're gonna be hatching some clown Z-morph stuff and some pied Z-morph stuff. It's gonna be freaking insane, man. Super, super stoked about it. And guys, I know I was supposed to do the video where I showed my exantic stuff, the black and white snakes I like to call them, but that's gonna be on the next vlog because I'm waiting for some of these uh, clown snakes to uh, finish shedding because I wanna show you some crazy stuff that I just hatched. And man, are we blown away with it. But as always, man, we appreciate all of support. Till next time, peace.